Welcome back. If you have taken all the courses up to now, you should be very well prepared for something as difficult as these back saccadas. But if you remember in the forward saccada and side saccada course or the, the other saccada course that we have, there is uh, there, there are 24 possible saccadas that are forward and side steps. And we showed you how to find the 12 from the leader to the follower and the 12 from the follower to the leader. And now we're going to show you all the back saccata possibilities. A lot of them are what we call impossible saccadas and really you shouldn't even try them. I'm going to show you to them, uh, show, show them to you just so you have the knowledge. And I'm also going to show you the ones that work, uh, work better for uh, maybe even social dancing or performing. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll um, acknowledge the ones that don't work and I will encourage you not to do them, um, even despite me showing them to you. So hopefully that you'll just take it in as knowledge and not as something that you have to do. All right. So the other saccadas are back saccadas. And remember the exercise when we did the forward side back and the forward side back in the uh, in the previous one where we went like this and we did these saccadas left, right and left. And then we did them going the other way and we switched our weight, did them going the other way. We have the exact same concept going with back steps. So in 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 total, we have six steps. If you remember me talking about this before, I have six steps and she has six steps, which we have 36 combinations, which would mean that we should have probably 72 saccadas, but we don't actually have those saccadas because some of them repeat. So for example, when she takes a side step, this is a forward saccada. This is a side saccada. It is not a forward saccada. It's a side saccada or an open saccada because if I turn to her, my legs are open. So with my right foot going to my going to the left, I cannot create a forward and a side. I can only create one of those. With my left foot, I can only create a forward or and or a side. I cannot create them both. So some of these start to go away. The same is true for the back steps. So in that same side step, if I turn to turn, you know, and we have this um, embrace here, I can go with my left foot. This would be a back saccata. If I go with my right foot, this is not a back saccata. It's actually that very first forward, uh, the, the side step, uh, saccata number two. So some of these are, again, repetitive. So we have now three saccatas. One, two, and three. So where is saccata number four? It's here, which we call the impossible saccata, because as you can see, I'm having to change my embrace quite a bit to make this happen. There it is. So there's no point in doing that saccata. There are some places where these impossible saccatas are easier, and I'll show you those. So we have two possible back saccatas for every one of her steps, which are 12 more saccatas. She has the same two back saccatas for every one of my possible six steps. That's the other 12 saccatas. So going forward in the next lesson, we're going to look at the ones that are, are really more possibilities from me to her and from her to me in the following lessons. When you kind of uh, have figured all this out in your head, we'll see you in the next lesson to put, uh, put that pen onto paper, put that all into your feet, and make some saccadas. We'll see you then.